Falls Estate Fair is rolling in cash, bringing in more money than this time last year, and it's still going. Two News reporter Beth Burnett is live at the fair with the reason behind the boost in business. Beth? Well, Ross, we're told that the total is reaching near one and a half million dollars, and that's just for the ticket to get in here. Many people say that Mother Nature has definitely been on their side. anyone who goes to the Tulsa State Fair and they might tell you their fair favorite. To be up in the air and to see everything from up in the air. For some, it's the ride. For others, it's the exhibit. It's like the Tulsa Driller made entirely out of cheese. It's different. You never know what's going to happen next. For ride operator Charles Williams, it's the people he meets. A couple here last night, and they said this is their yearly date. And while there are a lot of things to do that are free, there are even more that will cost you a few bucks. Our revenue at the gate has been up, so we can correlate that to more people. So far, entry ticket sales are up 27% over last year. We always look forward because there's so many things that are uncontrollable at the Tulsa State Fair with the weather is the most significant that can really affect your attendance. Last year, it rained 8 out of the 11 days. Hotter days mean more cold drink sales. According to organizers, rainy days can mean more inside vendor sales. So whether you show up to pig out on all things fried, to people watch, to see new inventions, or because your kids demand it. We've been waiting all this year to come to the fair, and I've been asking and asking. To don't forget your wallet. Fair fans agree you're probably going to need it. And final attendance numbers, and the money made here won't be available until December, but if you want to save some money, come out to the fair on Sunday. You can pay $30 for a pass and ride most of these rides all day long. Reporting live from the Tulsa State Fair, Beth Burnett, 2 News works for you.